Keith Stevens, and welcome to Keep the Faith. And I'm Donna Cruz. The past is past. Together with each song and story, we'll look forward with hope. Here's a taste of what's to come. I don't know where this is going, but I know who holds my hand. It's not the path I would have chosen, but I'll follow you to the end. 20 minutes later, Amy was finished with her sandwich. The clouds still looked dark and scary, but she desperately wanted to be home. She had no real reason not to make the trek over the mountains. It wasn't even snowing. But after another 10 miles, out of nowhere, a blizzard hit. Take responsibility for your own actions. Well, it may be scary and painful in the short term, but in the long term, it leads to the best life and the best you. You may enjoy a chicken sandwich every now and then, but for one young lady, it was more than a meal. It saved her life. Karen Kingsbury shares the story next on Keep the Faith. What are we waiting for? Welcome to a place where you can take in the gift of encouragement, a place where it becomes contagious. This is Keep the Faith. When I think about where I would have been without you, I'm so glad it's a place I never have to be. Even if I tried, I couldn't count the ways, not enough for words for me to ever say, just how good, how good you are to me, hey. Got me 
singing like Amen. to keep the faith. I'm Donna Cruz. When you pray, the answer can come in all kinds of ways, maybe even in ways you never thought possible. Karen Kingsbury is a New York Times bestselling novelist. Some of her books are even being made into movies. In fact, Someone Like You hits theaters later this year. She loves to share stories that inspire, and this one is no different. Amy Hansen was a freshman at a small Pennsylvania college that January with plans to drive home for the weekend. It was a tough drive in any weather, but that January weekend as Amy set out toward home, the clouds overhead looked ominous. Maybe she should turn back. Instead, she prayed, God, help me get home safely. Five minutes later, as Amy was getting onto the highway, she was suddenly hungry, famished. And just when she might have passed the exit, she heard a voice. Amy pull off the road and eat. Chills ran down her arms. Who had said that? Wherever the voice had come from, she felt compelled to obey. 20 minutes later, Amy was finished with her sandwich. The clouds still looked dark and scary, but she desperately wanted to be home, and she had no real reason not to make the trek over the mountains. It wasn't even snowing. But after another 10 miles, out of nowhere, a blizzard hit. Wind howled in every direction, and she could see nothing. A minute became two. The whiteout made it impossible for her to see beyond the car windows. Five heart-stopping, terrifying minutes later, the cloud lifted. Amy was in a line of cars, stuck behind a jackknife tractor trailer. What she saw next took her breath. Beyond the trailer were dozens of mangled cars. People ran around in a panic, screaming for cell phones and help. Amy parked in a hurry, got out, and did what she could to help. As she drove home later that day, Amy replayed the voice she heard, the one telling her to pull over and eat. If she hadn't stopped, she would have been right in the middle of the accident. She's wondered since why her. The reason she believes is that it wasn't her time. That and the fact that she had trained herself to listen for the small voice of God. Thanks to Karen Kingsbury Productions for helping to make encouragement contagious here on Keep the Faith. More information about the upcoming movie, Someone Like You, is available at keepthefaith.com. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your head. From the moment that I wake up, until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing. 
of contagious encouragement. Keep the faith. Hi, I'm Shonda Pierce. Stories have a way of inspiring us. They encourage us. I know firsthand that they can make you laugh a little. Would you share those stories with us? It would really make a difference in someone's life today. Call 1-800-726-4150. That's 1-800-726-4150. I have a dog named Bella, and my brother and I got it for a Christmas present. My brother and I had been begging for a long time, and we eventually were getting off a cruise, and um, our parents said that they needed to pick something up for someone at the church because my dad's a pastor. We went inside, and my brother and I kind of rolled our eyes and because it was like an extra delay. So we went inside, and um, I got to see her, and she's laying on a bed, and I was like, oh, that's such an adorable dog and I was like well now she's yours and we cried I cried so much I cried for like the whole way home and she's just been like a really great blessing in her life my mom got transverse myelitis and so she's been really chill and she's just made our whole family smile a lot and she brings a lot of joy to us you made the rain so when it falls on me should I complain or feel you calling me it's all on me to stay and really catch what you're showing It's my roots that you're growing Cause life is more than this moment You are the light So when the darkness falls The greatest heights They never seem so tall No, not at all, you're right It's my roots that you're growing Don't wanna miss what you're showing Ain't no doubt about you Everywhere that I go You keep showing up Lord, you make me wanna shout it Oh, you're the Out of joy, you're the smile on the face of your boy. 
Yoda flowers at the park in Detroit. Steal the words on the back of our coins. Let's make some noise. You cover me, my defender, when you're rolling up your sleeve. You're the truth that's gonna set the captive free. The only king that's ever chose to bleed. It's what I believe. But they keep trying to make your glory fade. But I ain't really sweating what they say. Ain't no doubt about you. Everywhere that I go, you keep showing up, Lord. You make me wanna shout it. Oh, you're the goodness in my life. And I'ma tell you my truth. They may come, they may go. You keep showing up, so do. Ain't no doubt about it. You are, you are the goodness in my life. Through the good and the bad and the ugly. I can still see the sun shine above me. Lord, I love all the ways that you love me. You're the good, you're the good, you're the goodness. Through the good and the bad and the ugly, I can still feel the sun shine above me. Lord, I love all the ways that you love me. You're the good, you're the good, you're the good. You're the good, 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 you're the goodness. Listening to Keep the Faith. When you admit your mistakes, you expect the worst, but sometimes a surprise is waiting. The story is next on Keep the Faith. It's not just a story, it's a living, breathing, walking testimony. So good, he leave his home in glory for the world he loved, for the world that he so loved. Hey, it's not just a story. Yeah. I believed in the life of Jesus. I believed that he conquered death. I believe in the resurrection. I believe he's coming back again. I believe that he gives us power I believe that he is the son of God I believe it, I believe it I believe it, I believe it I believe in the life of Jesus I believe it, I believe it I believe it I can't deny it If I said I
Jesus. I believe that he conquered death. I believe in the resurrection. I believe, I believe you say. I believe that his spirit is with us. I believe that he gives us power. listening to Keep the Faith. I'm Brandi Lene. Mistakes are going to happen. Boy, do they happen. But to move forward in the new year, it's usually best to own up to them. Dr. Joe Beam has seen it time and time again. He's the founder of Marriage Helper and our longtime relationship expert here on Keep the Faith. Right now, you can take his free online mini course called Save My Marriage at lovestories.com. It was the 11th grade geometry class. We had a few minutes and the teacher wasn't there. And I picked up this 12-sided thing she would illustrate things with and threw it to my friend. Bad throw, hit the wall and broke. I put it back together as best I could and set it on her desk. So throughout the class, I sat in misery waiting for her to pick it up and realize that it would fall apart when she did. Well, class was over. I walked up and told her what I'd done. Without hesitation, she looked me in the eye and said the kindest thing. She said, you'll be a great man someday. Everyone does things they shouldn't do. Sometimes, like you did, just a moment of bad judgment. Sometimes it's more than that. But you took responsibility for your actions and told me the truth. That shows character. Always do that and you'll be a great man. I haven't always lived up to that moment, but inevitably I come back to it and take responsibility for my actions. Over my lifetime, what she said to me has caused me much short-term misery, but a deep sense of peace within by doing the right thing. I've actually got two relationship recipes for you out of this story. First, rather than punishing a person who does something dumb, find the lesson in it and teach them a better way for their future. And the second thing is, take responsibility for your own actions. Well, it may be scary and painful in the short term, but in the long term, it leads to the best life and the best you. I saw mercy, mercy seated where the judge should be was guilty. Guilty and getting out of jail free How could it be I didn't get the life I deserved And the only thing he wanted was my heart in return And every time I think about it Every time I thought was the end I'm caught up in wonder again Where would I be? Where would I be? Took a hold of me How could it be I'm living with an infinite worth And the one I thought I chose It really chose me first And every time I think about it Every time I thought was the end Oh, I'm caught up in wonder again
and sometimes the hands on the clock can feel like they're beating us hard to get more accomplished. Life is not an emergency. Life is a gift. Life allows me to be the gift. I'm going to create margin spaces that allow me not to panic when there are interruptions, but to go ahead and say, this is who Christ wants me to meet today. This is who Jesus wants me to love well today. This is Keep the Faith. Next on Keep the Faith, sometimes getting over it is not the path to take. People were uncomfortable with me not having a baby. So when I went through the all, of, you know, the, the fertility stuff and went through it, it, it didn't work. And I had grief over that. And yet, you know, God brought me to a place where it's okay to not be there yet. Just ask the way. They are still there at the mention of His name They'll say, my God is still the same Ask the walls If they still fall at the mighty sound of praise They'll say, my God is still the same When did He break His promise? When did His kindness fail? Never has, never will My God when did he lose his power? When did his mercy change? Never has, never will. My God is still the same. Yeah. My God is still the same. Just ask the words. You prayed in desperation. Say my God is still the same Ask the grave If it's strong enough to keep hoping it's changed It'll say God is still the same the songs and stories you hear today help you begin a new story filled with contagious encouragement. This is Keep the Faith. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Because the God I serve knows only how to triumph.
to keep the faith. Hey, I'm Keith Stevens. A new year may be in front of you, but the heartache of the past is still with you. Bethany Murdoch knows the feeling and wants you to know it's okay. She's a Christian counselor, mentoring coach, and guest with Women of Faith. I dealt with infertility, so I've never had a baby. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm 40, almost 49. And I remember when I was in the thick of that about 20 years ago of the infertility People were uncomfortable with me not having a baby. So when I went through the all, you know, the the fertility stuff and went through it, it didn't work. And um, that messed with a lot of people's theology. I had grief over that. A lot of, um, you know, just all the things, anger, disillusionment. Am I, you know, who am I? Does my husband, are we a family? You know, because we don't have children. Are we still a family? There was a lot of of real human moments that I had to go through in that. And yet, you know, God brought me to a place where it's okay to not be there yet. You need to feel, you need to be able and be allowed to walk through whatever it is. You know, I love Psalm 23. It's it's like, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. This through is a thing. There are things we might never get over. I think one of the most insensitive things we can ever say to somebody is, you know, it's just, it's time to get over it now. Because the Bible doesn't say in Psalm 23, they, uh, yea, though I get over the valley of the shadow of death. It says, I'm going to walk through. There are things we'll never get over, but God will bring us through them. Maybe there's someone you know who's going through one of those difficult seasons. Keep the Faith has a special online event planned this April to help you care for friends and family in your life. Bethany Murdoch will be taking part in it, along with others like Nick Boyachich and June Hunt. More details are available at keepthefaith.com. It's been a long year, it almost took me down, I swear. Life was so good, I'm not so sure we knew what we had. I'll never be the same man. I'll never feel like I felt before It's been a hard year, it almost took me down But when my world broke into pieces You were there faithfully When I cried out to you, Jesus You made a way for me I may never be the same man But I'm a man who still believes When I cried out to you Jesus, you were there faithfully. I've had a hard time finding the blue in the skies above me. And if I'm keeping it real, I've been half fake in the happy they see. I may look like the same man, but I'm half the man I was. It's been a hard year. Took me down. But when my world broke into pieces, you were there faithfully. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you made a way for me. I may never be the same man, but I'm a man who still believes. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you were there faithfully. You never- 
Find encouragement for the roller coaster of life on Keep the Faith. Are you disappointed? Are you desperate for help? You know what it's like to be tired and only a shell of yourself. Are you start to believe you don't have what it takes. Cause it's all you can do just to move, much less finish the race. But don't forget what lies ahead. Jesus in us, it's not it, but when So take joy in the journey Even when it feels long Oh, find strength in each time Knowing heaven is cheering you sure that God is safe. I I want to be careful saying that. I just think there is so much more that he has for us that I honestly believe that we've barely scratched the surface. Dream big. I believe that's what he wants us to do.
I mean, I think there's dreams and visions and territory that he wants us to take for the kingdom and all that. I don't think we're going to do that if we just sort of just get, if we just stay in the routine. I don't think routine is God's will. Here goes nothing. It's day one of the rest of my life. It's day one of the best of my life. I'm marching on to the beat of a brand new drum. Yeah, here I come. The future has begun. Day one. This is Keep the Faith. I'm Brandy Lene with an encouraging thought on Keep the Faith. Every morning's dew is a fresh breath of a new beginning. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear So let that lonely feeling wash away Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand But you can reach, reach out your and oh, someone will come running And I know they'll take you home Even when the dark comes crashing through When you need a friend to carry you And when you're broken on the ground You will be found to let the sun come streaming in Cause you'll reach up and you'll rise again Lift your head and look around And you will be found Some things that simply do not travel, and that's true in life. Your future cannot be entered in when you're carrying bitterness, when you're carrying anger, when you're carrying unforgiveness, when you're carrying envy or greed. There are certain human characteristics that will keep you trapped in the past and will steal from you your future. Shut the door on yesterday. 